What's going on guys? It's Zadish here and welcome back to another mine. Nope, this wait, this is not um a Minecraft video. Today is a tutorial video. Actually, no, that sounds horrible. What's going on guys? It's Zadish here and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my thumbnails for youtube because it has been high in demand all of a sudden lately ever since um i wagered on one of my live streams i said if one of my live streams gets over 10 likes i would do a video on how i make my thumbnails now this isn't going to be the best because i'm going to be rushing in order to keep the video at a minimum of at least um at most 20 minutes or 15 i guess so um if you guys do enjoy um be sure to slap that like button down below comment and subscribe for more and most of all like and subscribe because it will show that you guys want to see me do more tutorials on the channel but anyway let us get straight to it all right so first of all let's go over the things that you will need to make uh, a thumbnail a good thumbnail um first you're gonna need photoshop any any version works cc cs6 cs5 and cinema 4d now if you do not have these things there is hope you can go on novaskin.me to edit your skin although it is a bit laggy and you can also download paint.net for free now i have not used that in a while but uh if you guys want to see me do a tutorial on how to make thumbnails with that then uh, uh also leave a like i'll try my best even though i might have forgotten how to use it all right so first of all you're gonna head into cinema 4d and if you cannot get these two things they're very expensive but there is a way to get them for free that is if you are a pirate do what you want because a pirate is free you are a pirate you are a pirate but i do not recommend getting it that way so um i'm just gonna you know continue with the uh tutorial all right, so first of all you're gonna um edit your skin you know take your skin you put it in here you you put in your skin file and all that i'm using the fmr4 um the fourth version by the way i know he released the fifth version but i'm lazy so i'm just sticking with the uh, fmr 4.0 um the creator is x Frosty, by the way i'll link him in the description where you can get everything you need for this thumbnail that is if i remember all right so i'm also using the lightroom rig which comes with uh custom made settings the good um average good and best i use the best because um, my pc is kind of beast and i actually got this from one of my friends named uh truce who has actually made some thumbnails for me so shout out to you man so yeah anyway good it's an average good best we are going to be using best since this is a t the tutorial for um best settings so this is my pose you can choose whatever you want i'm gonna hit shift r to render this and i'll get back to you guys when it's completely done rendering All right, the render is done. Now what you want to do is save it to your computer. All right, so you're going to do that. Hit OK. I'm going to go on my desktop for convenience. Um, type it whatever you want. And then you click save. It'll save to your desktop. Now you won't need this anymore unless you want to save it for future editing. Now you're going to get out your Photoshop or paint.net. It's going to load up. Mine loads up pretty fast since it's on an SSD. You're going to click new. Um, this is my preset 1280 by 720. You can do 1920 by 1080 um, if you want the extra detail, but we're going to do that. We're going to name this tutorial. And then we're going to leave the background kind of transparent. You can copy all this if you want, but it should already do that for you. And for the background, all right, we're going to get into the very detailed stuff. So pay attention. You're going to click file, 
if you're on CC, it's going to be a little different. So, uh, or CS6 is going to be a little different. So you're going to click place embedded for the background. Um, you can just simply, you know, go find a background. I'm going to be using this. I numbered it shaders one because it looks pretty nice. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. But um, if you're having trouble finding it, just type in Minecraft shaders HD. That will put it at 1920 by 1080 and then it will be right here. Just a bunch of stuff. See 1920 by 1080. It's even in 1440p. So there's a lot to choose from guys. And this is the one right here. Right here, this one. 1920 by 1080. So in, just in case you're having trouble. All right, next up, we are going to be putting the Minecraft logo. So you're gonna head back to place embedded. All right, so you're gonna head back here. This is the Minecraft logo pack by the Indian Bandit. So thank you, sir. And you're gonna head over to the um, the white logo variations. I personally use the white with stroke and drop shadow. So you're gonna put that there. And in this video, we're gonna put it at the bottom. I haven't put it at the bottom in, in a while. All right, so you're gonna press enter to place it, use the arrow keys to move it up or down, and hold shift to move it very up or very down, just in case you guys wanted to know. All right, so now we're gonna be adding the text. All right, so you can, um, oh, hold on, we gotta set this to white. And I use the bold, I've started to use the bold font nowadays. So I'll also put that in the description gonna change the font to about 48 um hold on these it's left on some previous things that i was doing before don't worry tutorial okay and then hit the check mark up there and now we're gonna simply align this if you're on cc then it's sh you should see this hot pink line in the middle whenever you hit the center but if you're not then all you got to do is Take the, um, this, what's it called? The rectangular marquee tool. You're gonna do that on the entire um, box. You're gonna click the move tool and then you're gonna click uh, the, just the align horizontal center so that it aligns horizontally. If you do the um, vertical centers, it's going to go in the exact horizontal center, but you don't want that. You want it right there. All right, so once you've done that, we're gonna add some effects to the text. So double click the the text that you wanna edit. You're gonna obviously add a stroke. All right, you're gonna have to move that up since the stroke is going out there. You can adjust it to anywhere you want. I'm gonna leave it at 21. You can copy that if you want. And then we're gonna add an inner shadow, which is something um, I came up with myself. We're also gonna add an inner glow Hmm, it's usually more visible than this. I don't know what's going on, but I guess we can just leave it for now. And then we're gonna add a, do I usually add a satin? No, I don't think I do anymore. All right, so don't add a satin. Don't add a color overlay. You can add a gradient overlay and you can use this gradient, the black to white, and then you can set the opacity, opacity to like 33% or whatever you want, take it out reverse, or you can just um, customize one yourself, set the um, opacity all the way. I did this myself. It takes a very long time to make. Where's the other one I made? Here it is. You, now you guys must be familiar with these two. These two are my favorites. I made them myself. Um, uh, it will take a very long time to get the exact colors of how to do it, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find a tutorial somewhere. So we're gonna leave it with this because it goes nice with the sunset. Um, making the thumbnail is like choosing good clothes to wear, guys. That's how, that's what I compare it to. You can add a drop shadow if you want, but um, I stopped doing that a long time ago, so hit okay. All right, so we're gonna make this a bit smaller because of the, um, because of the uh, stroke. And you can just realign it um, the way I said. Okay, now we're going to be adding my um, my render from Cinema 4D. So we're going to head back to where you saved it from. And then 
Look at this. Look at how this Lightroom rig, it just does all the graphics for you. All right, so we're going to move that up here. All right, so you, you want to move it over the Minecraft symbol, but under the, the words, under the under tutorial. All right, so you're going to align it once again. You can you can zoom in on it if you want, you know, add more detail, but I recommend doing that before you render it in Cinema 4D. Otherwise, it'll um, downscale the resolution and it will look a little more pixelated. All right, so but we're not done here. We're going to add some effects to the to the render itself. So you're going to double click this again. Um, we're going to head over to uh, Inner Shadow. And it gives it like this nice effect. You can also copy down um, whatever here, pause the video and do that. Then we're gonna add an inner glow. And we're gonna uh, move the size a bit down and turn up the opacity a little. And then we're gonna add a satin. And you see it looks a bit darker. And then we're gonna hit the gradient, change it to that, turn down the opacity to like um i'd say six percent six percent is good I'm gonna click reverse so that the the darker side is on the top and the lighter side at the bottom just just um short um make the inner glow smaller a little so that it looks good and then you're gonna hit okay and um yeah this is basically it for the thumbnail but uh you can add some more words. You can add some more words in the corner, like, you know, what I what I do sometimes. Like, um, what did I say? Uh, no, actually, scratch that. You can like, you can add an arrows, some arrows, you know, pointing. Just anything that can fill up all the the blank space, because you want to, you want your thumbnails to look as eye catching as possible. Like this arrow that I use, um, you can just type in arrow on Google and you can find it. Um, you know, you know, like put it, put it right there, pointing at something significant in the video, and then move it over a little so that it looks nice. Add a stroke to it, of course, and then you can also add a gradient overlay so that it gives it. But you gotta like find it in the right spot. Think you should yeah turn off reverse and yeah there we go there we go and then you can add another one now let's do that right now just hit Control j to duplicate the layer click your move tool um hit Control t right click it and click flip um horizontally it'll do that and you want to make it just a bit smaller and there we go and um, another effect you can add on the on your rig is all right. Hit Control J again, and then what you want to do is go to Filter, and then Filter Gallery, and then it's gonna be on this. It's that stylized glowing edges. You can copy whatever is here. Pause the video. Hit OK, and then what you want to do is set the opac opacity. I keep on saying opacity to like. Um, like 15%, 15% is good. And then like, it gives you like this nice effect, but it looks kind of dark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at 15 and then I'm gonna set the fill to something a bit lower. So yeah, yeah, you, you guys gotta play around with it so that it doesn't look too dark, but it's still kind of visible. Um, and then from there, what you want to do is it can, what was that? Um, I don't know what that was. All right, hit Control J again. Move that above uh, what you just did. Go back to the filter gallery. We'll go in filter and filter gallery. Gallery, and then go to I think it's there. It is. All right, so do plaster grab, and it it just makes it look like have this glossy effect on your rig. So do that once again. Set the opacity. Opacity. Why do I keep on mispronouncing it? to something very low to your preference and then you can do that and you can also add an outer glow um to the rig so that it pops out even more or a stroke you know 
actually outer glow looks better yeah there we go there we go and you can copy whatever you want here you can change the size and or leave it as that and yeah there we go and for the background if you want it to pop out more itself you can um go up here or um you can go to vibrance or brightness and contrast we're gonna do vibrance and we're gonna move this up a little and you see um it it just looks more vibrant hold on let's get a rid get rid of some stuff here um you see the difference it'll all the way down and then look so yeah you can add that to you know make your background pop out you can also add you can blur it blur the background so that um people focus more on what's in front of it by going to by selecting your layer first and then going to filter blur doing a gaussian blur or a lens blur but um yeah guys that's basically it for the uh, thumbnail tutorial it's very simple like this this right here only took like 10 minutes um besides all the commentary and you know walk through but um if you guys have any questions in the comment section comment them down below like how i did this just hit Control t if you want to you know transform and then you can just move it around like that and then hit enter to um place it and all the simple things in case you miss something or i didn't or I forgot to mention something since, you know, I don't do that much tutorials. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching um, this tutorial video. If you guys want to see um, any more, then, you know, what to do, slap that like button down below. I really want to do some more uh, tutorials. And thank you guys so much for um, um, influencing me to make a tutorial like this um, because I really enjoyed it as well. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.